All right. Welcome, 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 everybody, to another beautiful stream for the New York session. And here we are live with Raja Banks. All right. Everyone's here. Devil face, devil face. Awesome. Perfect. We are back again. And um, <clears throat> so this was the analysis. I mean, yeah, it was pretty crazy the way the way pound went down. So I guess we'll have to do some um, fresh analysis now on pound yen. Now, let's take a look at this, right? So we got no news coming up for pound. You can see right here to the left hand side, we have no news coming up. So let's take a look on the one hour time frame, four hour time frame. We are pushing down. Um, looking at the left hand side, you can see there's some sort of a support area. Now, um, we don't know whether this 4-hour candle is going to close in that area or whether the 4-hour candle is going to reject. I have no sound. Maybe there's something wrong with your speakers, buddy. Everyone else here is, uh, we have sounds over here. So let's take a look on the 1-hour time frame here. Looking at the 1-hour, um, moving all the way to the left-hand side now, we can see that there is indeed a support area to the left. So maybe we can uh, maybe like, you know, identify this as a potential rejection area, perhaps. Oh, right. A potential rejection area. Okay, let me just fix this over here for you, buddy. So you don't do that. Disable and let's remove this. Perfect. So maybe this is a rejection area for a pound and also if you look to the left hand side there was a support that we broke below now we now at this point we're just waiting at this point because we're creating a new low um which broker are you using on c trader at the moment dm available uh no not at this point maybe by the end of this month uh c trader is going to be on for dominion markets but i still got c trader on my meta trader here as well all right, let's take a look at this chart over here. Your JPY, very nice. Man, this is my bread and butter trade. I love to take these sort of trades. Um, so yeah, like pound yen, if I look at the charts now, all I can see is like price is just pushing down. So as price is pushing down, you know, there's nothing for me to do at this point because if I'm not in a sell, I've basically missed out on this trade, you know, and that's, one thing that we have to be very, very comfortable with right so whenever you so whenever you look at the charts and you see that price is pushing then just let yourself know that you've missed the trade right so we created um like you know we created a resistance at this point right here 182 550 uh there was a support formed we broke below the support on 30 minute time frame how much was this pips right here so this was like around 22 pips okay not that bad not that bad it's okay. Let's take a look at gold here for a sec. Um, so gold is just ranging, you know, I mean, nothing has really happened on gold. We, you know, like we maybe broke below this area, came back in the range and it's just tough. Gold is in a very, very tough position, but okay. So initially my whole mindset with gold was this, right? Okay. So hear me out. My whole mindset with gold was that if we can maybe break above you know 1926 1925 there's probably some range to the left okay honestly you know what i take my words back i'm gonna wait for price to break above um 1929 that's it i don't see anything happening before that yeah nothing happened before that so i'm gonna wait for price to break above 1929 and that's about it yeah, we got a break above 1929. Uh, let's make this a little bit thinner. Let's color this as, um, you know, yellow. Yeah, that's it. Perfect. Yeah, 1929. So I'm looking for buys above 1929 on gold. So let me put a text right over here. Uh, put 10 shell buys above 1929 1929 on gold we got potential buys make it a little bit bigger and there we go yeah potential buys above 1929 on gold that's it because if you look to the left hand side you have clean range going all the way from 20 1929 till 1934 and you can see that's like a 50 pip range 
right? That's a 50 pip range. And if you're using, let's say, uh, two lots, right? If you're using two lots, buys about 1929, your potential gain is like $1,000 right there. $1,000 right there. So you'll have to wait. Right now, like, you know, gold is just consolidating. We have candles printing side by side. So it's like, whatever. So gold is not important at this point. Sell below 1922.50. It's a 26 pip range. We'll maybe, we'll maybe take a look at that. Maybe, right? So gold is not important at this point. What more important is pound yen because pound yen has volume at this point. Look at that. Pound yen is still pushing down. Amazing, you know, this is great. And the reason why I say this is great is because the more it pushes down, like it has moved about 75 pips. So if you take a sell now, then basically you're anticipating that, okay, price has moved 75 pips. I'm taking a sell because I'm anticipating price to move more bearish, right? So ask yourself this question. We've already moved 75 pips. What's the probability that price will continue pushing down? The probability is really low, you know, so it's better to wait to see where we form support because if we form support, you know, then there's a very high probability we may create some sort of a consolidation. And once that consolidation is formed, it's going to have a resistance and support. Once we break that resistance, you can take a buy for like a retest or whatever. And that's honestly going to be like a 38 to 40 pip retest there anyway, you know. Yeah, so we'll have to wait over here now. We will have to wait. What's this? One of the broker screenshot drop NAS 100 to 1502. Is this scam or technical glitch? In this case, broker make refunds or liquidates the accounts. Hey, man, that's uh, that's all up to liquidity. Um, yeah. A cow named New Man is moving since long time. Why don't you put grass for that cow? I don't know, man. Like yesterday, I posted a lot of stories on my Instagram, showing, showing that I was making 40k, 50k, 20k, 30k back in 2019, back in 2019, 2020. So making money from trading is not new to me. It's very, very old. I've been making like 40, 50k a month from trading since 2019. 2018, I was making like 20 to 30k a month. 2019, I was making 30 to 40k. 22, no, 2020, I was making like 50, 60 K a month from trading. And that was all on like Vantage FX. You know, I even showed like all like, you know, videos and all that yesterday. So, you know, like making money isn't new to me. It's just like your skill gets better. As you, as you trade, your confidence gets better. Your skill gets better. And as your skill level gets better, you start to make more money at the end of the day, right? That's how business works. The more your business gets better, more confident you get, more money you make. And some, some people don't like that. You know, some people get jealous. So you can't help um, jealousy. It's very, very normal. Can you take a look at this chart? All right, let's take a look at this chart by Marcel. No, don't take this, man. We're consolidating. I'm not even going to entertain this. We're ranging. Why are you taking a trade in the range? Um, yeah, just don't. Uh, when will the credit card payment option for U.S. bank accounts? It's probably going to be once we get C-Trader launched. Um, so we have some news coming up tomorrow about the direction where Dominion Markets is heading. So tomorrow, so tomorrow you guys are going to know we, where we are headed as a company with Dominion Markets. Very exciting news coming up tomorrow. What's your highest trade hold? Um, highest trade hold is like maybe nine hours and that trade ended up in like a negative 2% loss. Um, what's your account leverage? Uh, 500 to one. I use 500 to one. I use 500 to one. So take a look at this, right? So this is MetaTrader. And what do you get on MetaTrader? Obviously, you know, charts, this and that. You got spreads and all this right here. And then, like, you know, all these tabs down here at the bottom, there's no news at this point, nothing, right? This is your MetaTrader. This is C-Trader that we're going to implement with Dominion Markets. And look at all the information you get, right? You get to see news right over here. You, see, you get all the news coming up for pound yen. You get that news. You switch to gold. You get news coming in for the dollar. 
you get all the news right here you have depth of market like where most orders are where your volume is headed at this point you got your calendar obviously you got your symbol like you got everything related to gold now one thing that we're going to implement with c trader is this right here auto chartist you know what this means auto chartist all the concepts that we've learned with smart Roger concepts are going to be incorporated right here so let's say so these are by default right so if i open this it's going to show you that based on this chart we should go down you know that's what it shows based on this chart we should go down channel pattern is down so it should go down this is based off of the daily right but um obviously we're not going to do this so like then you get all other information right here as well what else you got you got yeah that's about it you got news coming up you got auto chart it's obviously we already talked about so yeah magic keys works on c trader yes you can move the time counter what's this in case you want to center your chart you can move the time counter okay this is why this is there because i was wondering why this counter okay makes sense now all right perfect perfect so time counter i can move so much freedom in moving the charts look at this i mean yeah we've had a lot of requests in the past where people said hey when c trade is going to be available and once we started lo looking into it we're like okay you know what this is really going to help a lot of traders at the same time um can you risk one percent of account automatically or just use magic keys yeah you have to use magic keys c trader isn't available in the us c trader is available in the us um like once you download c trader it's going to ask you it's going to ask you are you a us resident and if you say yes it's the, the app is going to close and if you open it open it up back again it's going to ask you again and if you say if you break the law and you say no <laughs> the app's going to continue running or you can use the vpn you know with or without it it works perfectly fine um it's like it's like you know these things are in the gray area you know like like anything else there's so many things so so i was i was talking to one buddy of mine two days ago and we were talking about where do people make a lot of money you know and we were talking about there are a lot of people who make a lot of money living in the gray area in the gray area is where, where you make a lot of money because you're not breaking the rules you're not doing anything legal you're not doing anything illegal it's all in the gray area look at all the banks look at all the funds look at all the hedge funds look at all like the big corporations they run it's all working in the gray area you know so anyways like Banks said i'm not gonna say what he said but anyway if you guys find it perfect um you can do your analysis and trade in the same platform. Yes, I don't like Langsir, so I will not be able to use it. Okay, yeah, no problem. Can you use Dominion Market from India? Sure. Does this platform have flexible chat? Flexible chat? What's that? I don't know what that is. I don't know what flexible chat is. Yeah, I'm not sure why only C Trader needs to have this sort of um, formality. To, to ask people if they are residents i don't know because ninja trader does not meta trader does not um vortex this is the one platform called vortex does not trading view does not i don't know why c trader has to do that i just don't know why right it, 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 may, it makes no sense to me it makes no sense to me at all will the news be announced in slack as well yes yes the news will be announced in slack actually the news will be posted on my instagram it's going to be a video it's going to be posted on instagram tomorrow or day after tomorrow we're heading in a very exciting direction um we can't provide you with the download for c trader yet because it's not 100 percent. it's not 100 percent um uh, what's the word? It's not 100%. I don't know. For lack of better term, it's not 100% um, incorporated yet. Having a little bit of a problem with my English over here. Um, give us your top psychology tip. Yeah, just one to two trades a day. But once it is, yes, then you will be able to download it. 
for the NFP last Friday, I missed out how you how you set the stop orders later. Will you be doing stop orders or execution? Brother, you can just go look at the live stream. You know, yeah, gold is just untouchable. I'm not gonna touch gold at all. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna say something about gold. And I'm sorry if someone is named Nancy. Untouchable Nancy. Gold's name is Untouchable Nancy today. We're not touching gold today. Gold is officially called Untouchable Nancy, which means, which means don't trade gold. Just stay away from gold. Wait for gold to break out. I mean, a better trade, a better trade on gold is probably going to be, you know, a break below this area. But other than that, I'd say just stay away from gold. So maybe potential sells below 1922.50, right? Yeah, right. Potential sells below 1922.50. Maybe that's something it may work. Potential sells below 1922.50. Uh, bro, do you enter bargain, buy stop, or buy stop limit? Um, I only use buy stops and sell stops on news, uh, specifically NFP, FOMC, um, oh wow, look at that. Pound Yen is still continuing its treacherous run down. Wow, that's crazy. How much has it moved since we broke below 182, 170? 51. 51 pips. Damn, crazy. You can set price alerts in C-Trade that works much better than MT5. I use them at my levels and I don't need to watch the charts all the time. Oh, nice. One thing I really like about this is, um, you know, like you can, you get all this information. You get all this information. Like, look, this is 53 pips away. If this was a, what's the lot size right there? One lot, right? One lot. You would have made around, you know, 350 euros, dollars, sorry. Any news on opening SRC mentorship again? <laughs> wow, man. You must be living in a rock. <laughs> it was open for the weekend. It's done. Um, it's good that they said if you learn from more. Yes, that's true. We'll be able to. Will we be able to switch from MT5 to C Trader Dominion? And will Magic Keys work on C Trader? Number one, Magic Keys will work on C Trader. Number two, you will switch from MT5 to C Trader. Um, I'm in sales on GJ since 182 200. Nice 182 200. Very nice. That's a very very good. Uh, that's very good. That is very good, my man. All right. The same account numbers? No. I think there will be new account numbers. New account numbers are going to be allotted to you because each trader works on a different account number scheme. I'm not sure about the trade history, but um, yeah, I'm going to be switching to C trader because of all, like, you know, the... I mean, look, man, you got your built-in journal here as well. You got your built-in journal, like, you know, obviously transactions go over here, your price alerts, your history goes over here. Like the way they um, break down your positions, I think that's very sick. Um, could you do analysis for US 30, for US 30? Okay, so since pound yen is falling, there's nothing to do, gold, whatever. Let's uh, bring up US 30 over here. We have US 30. Oh, I don't know. US 30 is in indices, right? Yes, US 30 right there. Okay, we got US 30. We got 15 minute. We got the one hour. We got the four hour. Oh, there's a gap on this liquidity. Um, yeah, I don't know. Probably looking at the 30 minute time frame. I mean, maybe if uh, we kind of like, you know, break and close above this area, we can go up. Seems like there was some sort of a support formed down at 33,000. Let's take a look on the 15 minute time frame. Maybe there was something right over here. Yeah, I'd say maybe you wait for price to break and close above, uh, like, you know, this price level here. 
I'd say. Wow, someone got 70 pips on pound yen. Beautiful. Very nice. Very nicely done. Very nicely done. Do you Marcus uh, have much better US 30 chart? Oh, let's take a look at this here. Wow, look at that. Still falling. All right, let's bring it up over here. So this is DJI USD uh, chart window. Yeah, it's all about liquidity, you know. So we're going to use the same liquidity we have at on MetaTrader. It's going to be used on um, your uh, C Trader as well. So see how, like, okay, so let me just scale fix this. Okay, so we got resistance formed. We need to break above this area and then we can go up. Yeah, I'd say so. Um, what's your answer for those who say forest trading is haram and Islamic scholars? Oh, I have a phone call. All right, so we got a very important question here from one of our very lovely f uh, followers on YouTube. And okay, this question is so important that I need to really adjust myself. What pair is this on your screen? I understand that you may not know this, so I'm just gonna, yeah, it's US 30 because it says uh, DJI USD, you know? All right, what's this over here? We have, um, make the likes today, Raja will not need to ask for it. We are going to do it ourselves. Thank you. Thank you, I really appreciate that. You know, if you do like the stream. Also remember, if you guys like what we do over here, give a like on the stream, um, subscribe to the channel because that helps us grow a lot, you know? So we are at 360 likes. Let's get it up to at least a thousand likes, right? At least a thousand likes. And then, you know, oh, wow, look at that. US 30 is actually breaking up over here. Looking at on, um, like, you know, pound yen, we're rejecting, we're coming up. This is support we had from the left-hand side. And uh, I think, 
I think we have really broken below that area. Let's take a look to the left hand side here. Hmm. We came all the way down to what's this? 181.513. 181.513, which is 181. Oh, okay. We came all the way down over here. So maybe this is where we are sort of like rejecting, right? Because that's where we rejected previously. And it seems like we have tapped into the same area to reject. In terms of execution, does C trade it better than MD5 or it's the same? So um, we've looked into it a lot. And what we found is that C Trader has much better execution because of latency. Because here's what happens, right? So the thing is, C Trader, what it's going to do is it's going to see where you are in the world and then it's going to match you with the closest server you have so that you get the lowest latency, right? With MetaCoach um, or MetaTrader, what happens is like, let's say if you're in a country like Germany, right? And we're only going to have one centralized server. So you're going to connect to that centralized server. So if you're far away, let's say in Canada or the US or whatever, you're going to connect all there from there to one centralized server. It's not going to pick the most closest server so that you can connect to it. So it's going to connect you to the to the one that we already have. You know, with CTrader, it's universal. It's, it's, it's going to measure and calculate what's the closest server you have to your location. And it's going to connect directly to that. So it's going to reduce slippage, which means I'm going to make more money with news and it's going to be better for execution as well. Since the latency would be even more, much more lower. Um, yeah. Next week I come to Dubai, hope to meet you next week. I'm going to be not in Dubai. I'm flying out of Dubai on Friday. So I'm going to be back next Friday, unfortunately. So if you're here for more than a week, then yeah, we'll meet up. Is there any option C Trader for changing candle colors? Yes. You right click and you go to color options and you can change all the colors right over here. All the colors you want. You can even have your own background image as well. You know, from here you can change your background image. You can choose whatever I can choose dominion markets i can choose the default one they have i can choose no background image you know oh so you like these colors all right let me fix this over here okay so this is bull candle 38 166 154 38 166 154 let's try this over here 38 166 154 oh there's no option over here. All right, let's see over here now. Um, go to property, and then we have Vulcan 38, 166, 154. All right, there we go. Got that right here. We go to color options. We got the bull fill. Bull fill is going to be this color. Perfect. Okay. All right. Gold to the moon. Yeah, we'll have to wait to see what gold is up to. Here, uh, so we got metals, we got gold right here. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see. We will wait and see. What do you eat for breakfast? I have like five egg whites I have for breakfast. I don't know how that makes sense, what I have for breakfast, but it's um, five egg whites. Yeah. Hmm. 
Interesting. So this is how you do it. And a toast with peanut butter. Five egg whites and a toast with peanut butter. That's what I have. Beer candles, 239-8380. Let's do this over here. 239-8380. Perfect. See how complicated this stuff is. So right now, there's actually nothing happening at this point. You know, so, I mean, there's there's nothing to do anyway. So that's why we can just, like, you know, chill around, mess around, you know, do whatever we want. So there we go. Now we got, you know, the same candles as um, MetaTrader over here. So let's just save this template as Raja Final Charts. There we go, save, Raja final charts. Apply for new one will be Raja final charts, perfect. Yeah, I mean, what are you gonna do? Nothing, nothing happening over here. Raja final charts, there we go. Right, looks good, <laughs> looks good. Um, what about trade assistant for C Trader? Yeah, like, there are a lot of functionalities here. There's also a copy trading system on C Trader as well. Um, like, you know, so you get this with the platform, like so many things you can do. Look at 67% gain, 100% gain. So you can copy to all of these. These are live accounts, you know, so minimum investment, $100, minimum $1,000, $200, $20,000 minimum investment. This guy has done um, 100. So this guy here has done 166% return. Own funds were twenty thousand. Leverage is one to one thousand. Investor funds are four hundred and fifty-six thousand. So this guy has like almost half a million dollars under uh, him, you know. So like this guy has like one hundred forty-nine thousand, one hundred seventy-nine thousand. Um, this guy has forty-six thousand under funds. So you know, I can do all that time. Um, ROI, you can do like whatever greater than fifty. You can do by three months. So three months, like, like you know, so the, so there are like a lot of functionalities that you can do. So yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Um, one more thing is with C Trader, um, brokerages cannot manipulate accounts. They cannot use fake trades. They can't do like you know fake IDs. They can't manipulate stops, take profits. They they can't do all that manipulation like nothing they can't do all that so that's also one of the reasons why we're, we're moving towards uh c trader what about your usd send a chart buddy send a chart and we're gonna take a look at that is it possible to hide the window on the right which one this one this window i think so is it possible to hide it i don't know you can do this yeah, I think someone will have to um, someone will help have to help help me with that if we can hide it. Oh yeah, we can hide it. Yeah, there we go. Now, how do you bring it back? All right, gold is about to break over here. Yeah, how do you bring this back now? That's the question. We've hidden it, but yeah, I don't know how to bring it back. Same button. Where is it? I don't see it. You guys don't think I'd know where that button is? Three dots on the right side. Where? Where do you see those three dots? I don't see shit. In the center? Oh no, this is this one. Middle on the right. Yeah, I don't see anything. There's nothing. There's nothing. What are you guys talking about? But anyway, we're about to break below this area now. Which is good. Right middle, guys. Like, I don't see it on the right middle. Click on the dot on the right side top. 
this one this will detach the chart like it will do this you know your chart is gonna come out over here and then it's gonna reattach the chart very very right very very right i am looking at the very very right man <laughs> halfway down on the screen dude it's there where i can't see it look at the mouse I don't see it. This is breaking down now. Is this the one hour time frame? Okay, let's take a look. Into oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, I don't know what you guys are talking about. 1916.50. 19. There's no such thing as 1916.50. Right side of 1916. Yeah, there's no 1916. I don't see it. 1922.40. 40. 19, Where? 1920, 40. I can't see it. I can't. Go more right. Oh, right there. Oh, okay, I see it. Okay, 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 okay. Yes. I got it. I got it. Wow, that was a, that was a little bit of a problem. But anyway. Um... Yeah, for gold over here, I mean, you know, like, even though this is below this wick, this is like a 26 pip range, 20, 25 pip range. You'll have to wait for, I think, I think it's going to be better to wait for the candle to close. Yeah, I think it's going to be better to wait for the candle to close. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's going to be better to wait for the candle to close. So even though if the move is missed, you know, that's still totally fine. That's no problem, even if uh, if the move is missed. Because it's going to be better to wait for the candle to close. So look, this is like 26 pips away. Oh, control E. Okay, perfect. Control E. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Col old and blind. Yeah, man, I don't know. <laughs> Old and blind. Like, I can't help it. I'm 56, but I look 36, so it's not my fault. Can you review this trade? Is the traffic to the left valid to continue down, or am I missing something? All right, let's take a look at this chart over here. This chart is sent by Mr. Faris. Faris on the mic. Hello. All right, let's take a look at this over here. Um, yeah, man. I mean, this one, I don't know, because we've already pushed down. Like one, two, three, four candles. So if I'm looking at this, I'm probably going to wait to see. Yeah, I'm probably going to wait to see if we create, if we do a retest. I'm going to wait for a retest at this point. Because if you are selling, I think this was your selling candle right here. But okay, gold has decided to continue pushing bearish with this Comet Comics, with this Comics open candle over here. Wow, 20 pips in a minute. You guys see that? 20 pips in a minute. Oh, 25 pips in a minute. Damn. 26, 27 pips in a minute. Wow, that is crazy. Okay, Comet Comics, right? Comics, 41 pips in a minute. 41 pips in a minute. Um, yeah. C Trader for par TP, very best. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Let's see what Pound Yen is doing. Pound Yen is doing nothing at this point. Yeah, this was actually a very big move here in gold, to be honest. We fell like, you know, 49 pips at this point. This was your um, comics open, by the way. Let's take a look on the four hour. Four hours also forming, which is good. One hour candle is also pushing down. I'm already up about 12 pips. Very, very nice. Um, I'll try a buy now. No, I don't think you should try a buy now at this point. I wouldn't try a buy. You know, I'm probably just going to wait to see how things play out. Wow, look at that. Would you have considered a sell on gold or was it too risky? I honestly, I wouldn't have considered a sell. Maybe now when I look at it in hindsight, it made sense because we had volume. Um, 
like you know okay so look we've been consolidating since pre-london right pre-london london open we consolidated and then obviously the next time of volume was pre-new york pre-new york also nothing happened and then we came into new york open so i think once we did break below these wicks where the stop would have been 15 pips i think the sell made sense you know so you know what we did at this point we looked at it we're like okay like you know what how could this have made sense and i think this is how it would have made sense uh did you test magic keys on c trader yes magic keys does work on c trader yeah this is a very big move over here 51 pips yeah for people who got this move congratulations Hey Raja, I remember you mentioned on several occasions if you want a high paying job, get into sales. Tomorrow I have an interview for a medical device sales job. Very excited. That's amazing, man. The one thing about sales is that just keep on going. You know, every rejection that you're going to get, that rejection is going to be practice for your pitch. Like whenever you see a no, whenever someone says no, just start hitting them. Hitting them with rebuttals, you know, just start hitting them with rebuttals because they've already said no. So all you can do is keep practicing your pitch for that perfect opportunity. By far, Raja is the biggest donut on C Twitter. Not anymore, buddy. Now I have the hotkeys, control E. Boom, 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 boom. So Pound Yen is right. We're coming up. We got to create some sort of resistance and then continue on pushing down. Will Dominion Markets be um, still usable once we launch C Trader? I don't know. Maybe. Um, so we have some big news coming tomorrow. So uh, just keep your eyes open for the news. Everyone's going to get the news event. So I think it's going to be like, I don't know how the news is going to be seen by many, but but um, it's a very, very big change happening for the media markets. Num number one, we're going to have a fully functional office in Dubai. We've already done that. Um, and number two, it's going to be tomorrow. There's going to be some good news and there's going to be some bad news. <laughs> there's going to be bad news and good news. So, yeah. Physical retail, yes, but you'll only be able to come to the office via appointment. Um, mute YouTube and tell us. You guys are going to be first to know. When is the mouse pad being released? Maybe in like two to three weeks. Dream market is open for Iran. I don't know. It's not MT4. It's MT5. Yes, it's MT5. Let's take a look at gold over here. Yeah. It's missed now. Gold. Dismissed now. Yeah. Are you seeking volunteers for your positions at the office? No, not at this point. Um, how bad can it be? Not not bad, bad. You know, it's not bad, bad. But, you know, it's on a scale of 1 to 10. 10 being the worst. I think bad news is like 5. You know, 5. And that's for the company's sake, not for the client's sake. So, yeah. So tomorrow's, <laughs> tomorrow's going to be interesting then. Tomorrow's like, we're going to release the news and then we're just going to wait. Oh, reaction. <laughs> What's the reaction? Um, do I need to be from Pakistan to make money trading? No, you, you can make money from wherever you want. Um, can we buy BNB stocks and Dominion Markets? Sure. Any plans on boot camp in New Zealand? Hell no. Jeremy Powell of Dominion Market is going to make a speech tomorrow. Yes, we're going to make a speech tomorrow. It's not going to be a speech. It's going to be a pre-recorded video. And that video has already been recorded. It's just going to be released tomorrow. We recorded this video a week ago. And tomorrow we're going to release it. Yeah, thanks to everyone who was trying to get me to do this window on uh, C Trader. I missed this move. News going to be congrats, guys. Roger's giving a Bugatti to every client to the media markets. Yeah, sure. Let's see how much am I going to lose on the Bugatti. Let's see if Bugatti is like 5.4 million. 5.4 million. So let's do this, right? 5.4 million times we got, what? 
uh, around like 56,000 clients. 56,000. Yeah, I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think I'm giving away a Bugatti anytime soon. That's 400 million, 2.4 billion, 2.4 billion. Wow. 302 billion dollars to give a Bugatti to everyone on the platform. 302 billion. Yeah. That's a lot of money. I don't even think there are that many Bugattis in the world to give out to any uh, to give out to everyone. Um, do not say that you will not do live. No, the live, the live streams are going to continue. Like, like the live streams are going to continue. There's nothing happening to the live streams, but wow, look at that. 52 pips down at this point. Pound yen is whatever. A retracement is going to be good. Um, for pound yen, let's do this right here. Potential, potential sells at the retest. Yeah, I think um, this is going to be a good retest for price to continue pushing down. Any date for C Trader? I don't know, maybe by the end of this month. Yeah, maybe by the end of this month. Um, can you give me your thoughts on getting funded? Sure. If you're a good trader on your own account, I think it's going to be advantageous to you to get funded. If you're a good trader on your own, then it's going to be good. Withdrawal limits? There are no withdrawal limits. You can withdraw... You can withdraw from domain markets anytime you want. Um, the crypto withdrawals take like um, a maximum 24 hours. Um, credit card, we stop that, but there are options you can do that. So it takes about 48 to 72 hours. So yeah. Can we use domain markets in Pakistan? Sure. Free course, there's no such thing as free. There's no free things in life. The only, not even these live streams are free. Okay guys, not even these live streams are free. Because I'm spending my time to be on the live streams and all you guys got to do to play your part in the live streams is to click that, click that thumb, thumbs up. You know, so we got about 672 likes. Let's get these likes up to a thousand. And if we can get the likes up to a thousand, then we're going to continue the live stream for another 30 minutes. We have 674 likes. Let's get it up to a thousand so we can continue for another 15 minutes, not 30 minutes. I lied. You know, because I got to go somewhere in 15 minutes. 720. 720. The candle is about to close in about 15 seconds. Let's get it up to 1,000. 1,000. We got 778. And we got 10 seconds left. 1,000 likes. That's your payment for the live streams. That's all what you got to pay. You got to pay with a thumbs up. That's it. Thumbs up and subscribe. 928. And ooh, we made it. Almost there. Almost there. So I think that's good enough. All right. Um, when will you start signal service? Never. I'm trading live account for the first time. What lots should I use on a hundred dollar? On a hundred dollar, I think you should use like zero point zero one lots. Would you consider a counter trend trade on GJ? Yeah, a counter trend trade on GJ is probably going to be like what a buy. A buy on. Um, pound yen is only going to work if we create resistance and we break it to continue pushing up. What are targets on C Trader? Nothing. Targets is nothing on C Trader. I'm using a 30 minute time frame. C Trader is awesome. I like different chart types you can use. Yes. Yes. When are we receiving group confirmations for virtual boot camp? Somewhere on Wednesday or Thursday. Can we copy trade from your C trader? No. Yes. If I'm there, then yes. Um, are you trading your leaderboard account? Well, there was no trade to take, so I didn't, I didn't take any trade. What's your opinion concerning my Forex funds? I don't know. No buys in GJ? Nope. No buys in GJ. Because GJ is in a downtrend on this time frame. Right? If you look on the daily, the daily is going to say it's uptrend. That's fine. 4 hours is going to say we are, you know, like in an uptrend because we're moving from the bottom left to the top right. Um, a 1 hour time frame is going to tell you that we are in a downtrend. So it's better to wait for price to create some sort of resistance and then continue pushing down. So yeah, I just got to wait. Wow. Gold just continued pushing down. Yeah, this was the move over here. 
this was the move on gold. We've already moved about 50, 60, 60 pips at this time. Wow, look at that. 62 pips. That was the move on gold. But anyway, what can we do, right? Can't cry over the spilled milk. How many trades taken when you turn 50k to 1 million in 6 months? Um, 50k to 1 million in 6 months. Um, I think I took... I'll have to check actually and let's check that together okay so let's go over here and portfolio um, retirement account so um, so July I've done like 17% so far let's do this over here continue how do you do this balance can you edit this okay so I reached a million around I'd say right here right November so from April till November April May June July August September October November so seven months I got to a million dollars from 50k uh, how do you see this over here? History? No. Trades? Yeah, history, right? November. We gotta go to, oh, we gotta go all the way back. Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea. I don't know. Plan worked out. 40 pips. Let's take a look at this chart by Paul Blake. Oh, very nice. Price broke below the low. Filled a big wick. Beautiful, man. That's absolutely beautiful. Well done. I think it's easy to check on MT5. Yeah, but then you have to count that. Way easier way is to just download the whole thing and then you can take a look at that. The little red and green bar below the buy and sell buttons at the top are actually market sentiment and all, all those orders are going to see so you can see if the trades are buy or sell. Yeah, right now it's showing it's showing buys because Oh look at it. Sixty four percent of client accounts are open with open positions in this symbol are expected to price to rise. Okay. So thirty six percent are in sells. So sixty four percent are taking buys. Anticipating a move up. <laughs> that's kind of scary, you know? Yeah, that's kind of scary. Um, yeah. Pound yen, whatever. Scam coffee little is on your case now. Good luck. Yeah, that's fine. The little red line, how's the Dubai heat and summer these days? That's oh, pretty nice. It's hot. You know, it's cool. Uh, it, it's interesting that whenever most of people are buying, the price is dropping and reversing. Yeah, that's what I used to do in the beginning too. In the beginning, whenever price would fall down, I would try to take a buy, you know. I take a buy and price would fall down more. I take a buy again and price would reach a support. I'll double down on buys and price would fall again. And I was like, man. This is so tough, you know, so, and, and then I had to change my mindset because whenever you can see price falling, you know, like this, you don't need to take a buy. I mean, of course you look to the left inside and of course to the left inside, you see rejections. You're like, okay, let me take a buy at this point. But I had to change my mindset to say, okay, you know what? Price went down. How big was this move? Right? So I calculated the candle. I'm like, okay, this was like 71, 72 pip move. So if this was a 71 to 72 pip move, that means someone took the sell. Someone took the sell and he made all that money and he rolled all the way down, right? So, so, so that was the crux of the move. That was your main course at the dinner table. 
You know, if you didn't get the main course on a dinner table, there's no need to take a bite. There's no need to eat scraps. There's no need to take leftovers or, or the rest of the leftover food home. There's no need for that. So I had to change my mindset. I'm like, okay, you know what? Price went down. I missed the trade. I wasn't in this trade. All I got to do is for price to retrace, create resistance somewhere, maybe let's say like 1920 create resistance and then continue pushing now so let's say price retraces all the way back up towards you know like uh like 1920 then i can say okay you know what we retrace we create resistance now we can continue to push down to retest the low that's where i had to change my mindset and that change was actually very important because that indicated that now i'm more prone to being like you know uh disciplined because you got to wait because at the end of the day, you got to wait for price to come to the level where you want to take a trade. That's it with, at the end of the day. I lost two times today. Should I call it a day? Absolutely, you should call it a day. If you lost two times today, just call it a day. All right, should we sell US 30? I don't know. What is background song? I don't know. I honestly don't know what's the background song. Let's take a look at that. So US 30, if it creates resistance, I think it's a very good possibility for price to move down. Have you been to Morocco? No. Crypto payment emails for bootcamp, they will be answered by tonight. I won seven times. Should I call it a day? Sure, man. I think that's a very good idea to call it a day. Thoughts on funded next? No idea. No clue. Babe Station tunes. Yes. These tunes are from Babe Station. Don't open Babe Station, by the way. I like this, Raja. Seems like when you answer dumb questions from YouTube, it frustrates you. A little bit. <laughs> you know? Does Dominion, Dominion Markets work in Uganda? Yes. Dominion Marcus does work in Uganda. Uganda. Um, how does your beard look thicker in the videos you post on Instagram but looks thinner now because I used the trimmer? Buddy, how, why, why does that matter? Why does that matter what my beard looks like? It's, it's irrelevant to your success. How do I transfer my funds from Binance to Dominion Market? I don't know, just do a withdrawal. It's no surprise YouTube had so many dumb questions. Yes, that's true. Um, is SRC working in crypto trading? Sure. Uh, can you look at USDJPY? Yeah, I can look at that, but then what am I supposed to do? Can you use Tradesler for journaling? No, do I use? No, I don't. Not, not yet. Are you going to start bombing thread? Start bombing thread? I am already on thread. You know, it's easy. Whatever I post on Twitter, I copy paste and post on thread. That's it. Easy. Do you recommend practicing with a $200 account? Yes. What's your advice on trading the news, please? Don't trade the news. Why do you want to trade the news? The funny part is Dominion Markets works in Uganda and not in India. It works in both countries. You just, you're just very stupid to really understand how it works. You know, like, I don't mean to be mean, but that's all what it is at this point. Yeah, gold is still pushing down, man. That's crazy. So if you took buys, look at that. The more gold pushes down... The buy meter goes to the left-hand side more. Look at this uh, thing. Now it's like 66%. Before it was 64%. If it does create support, then if it, it then it needs to... See, here's the thing. If you want to take a buy on gold, let us go deeper into the candle over here. If you want to take a buy on gold, you want price to retrace, create resistance... Break that resistance and then take a buy. Yeah. Do you market stop with slips news? Don't trade the news. Let's take a look at pound yen over here. Yeah, see pound yen? More people are in cells now. Because they think this is retracing, so it should continue pushing down. 
but you gotta wait you gotta wait for a candle to close I finally gave up on Forex. I'm taking a break from the summer and coming back again in two months because I simply cannot follow my trading plan. Pigeon man, listen, your trading plan is meant to make you successful. Not even pigeon man. Everyone, everyone watching me right now. How many people are watching me right now? So we got 2,400 people watching me here on YouTube and I got, I got 21,000 people watching me on Zoom. Right, so all these 21, 20, 20, 23,000 people. Listen, every trading plan that you make, every trading plan, your trading plan is there to make you profitable. Right, all you 23,000 people, listen to me. Your trading plan is there to make you profitable. If you don't follow your trading plan, you're never gonna make money. And your trading plan is simple. Most of your trading plan says two very important things one or two trades a day and one or two percent risk per day that's it that's the key to your training plan all technicals fundamentals all that's garbage you know even if you put technicals and fundamentals to the side a retard with a with a, with a monkey brain can even focus on one or two trades a day and in six months you're going to see there's going to be a huge change in your trading you change in your training even if you have a brain of a monkey you know, just focus on one or two trades a day. In six months, you're going to see a huge change. Even if you don't understand technicals, you take one or two trades and you go over your trades every day like a good boy, like I did when I was young. You want to hear a story? And this one habit really helps me now. You know, this one habit that I used to have when I was young. Are you guys ready? Let me tell you. This one habit that helped me a lot when I was young. So whenever I would come back from school, whenever I'd come back from school, my father would say, whatever you studied in school, go over that. You know, this evening, go over whatever you studied in school. Because the next day, you're going to know exactly what you did the previous day. You know, and we started to do that. And that's, it's, it's a whole other thing I didn't graduate university, but that's besides the point. Now, that habit... Is still in me now because whenever I'm done trading, whether it's a losing trade or winning trade, I go over those trades because maybe tomorrow that same winning trade formation is going to happen tomorrow and then I'm going to be able to execute better on that trade. Or if I had a losing trade, I'll go over that and I'll see where my mistake was. And if that same thing happens tomorrow, then I'm going to be ready. And I'm going to say, okay, you know what? I lost on this formation yesterday or last week or last month. And now I'm better prepared. I'm better, wiser. I'm more knowledgeable on that. Now I'm not going to do that again. What's your advice on uh, price action? Don't do that. Your dad would make you do your homework? Yes. Could you reveal your 10 trade rules? It's on my mouse pad right now. You know, so that, so that same habit is in me at this point. Wow, look at that. We even fell even further. 83 pips over here on gold. That's crazy, man, the way we fell down. So, yeah, I'm done with gold now anyway. But anyway, guys, um, I'm off. Take care. Have a great day. And um, maybe we will see you tomorrow. Maybe. It's not a promise, you know. But maybe we're going to see you tomorrow. And keep your eyes open for the big news, the big change, a transition happening with Dominion Markets. And take care. Adios, amigos. <laughs>